Adam Chubby Two cut all the no jumper shows except for the actual no jumper podcast show, I guess whatever it is, right? Uh so basically essentially fired a lot of you know all the other niggas. Uh, and uh, DW Flame, you know what I'm saying, which is a, a, a reputable LB low, you know what I'm saying. Uh, his ass was not fucking with it, and he's he out there trying to, you know, expose uh, no jumper. Talking about, bro, like, they don't make no bread over there. Like, I, you know what I'm saying, it's all professional, woo woo And, you know what I'm saying, a lot of been going on with that because, you know what I'm saying, basically he felt disrespected because at, when, when bro, you know, he called, when, when Adam was, you know, and then the shows and stuff, he called every other person because DW Flame got a show on there. You know what I'm saying? He got a show on, you know, the, the, the CEO podcast. He got a show on there. So, uh, uh, what's it called? Shout out to Pascal, man. Uh, so up, so up, so up, everybody hit that subscribe button. <laughs> but DW, DW had a show on there. So Adam didn't tell him about this shit. You know what I'm saying? He only posted it on the Snapchat shit. So when everything went up, you know what I mean? He found out. So I didn't say, well, him now, you know what I'm saying? Bruh's like, Apparently he on a, you know, he not fuck with no jumper. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and uh, see what's good with that. DW Flame and Adam22 are going at it and throwing allegations at each other. The former host versus Adam22 drama saga is starting to feel like an annual thing now at No Jumper. If I didn't know no better, I would think all of this was Shout out to Kim. Shout out to Kim. Welcome to the fan band. Like clockwork at this point. Shout out to uh, Carl. The numbers is going crazy Put because the wing. fans are receptive oh, to that new host. Man. Then eventually the fans turn on the new the host and the numbers are looking a little funny in the light. Adam My has God. to make a business decision God. and then it's beef. Obviously the last time this happened was when AD and t bro left no jumper. Mm, and now probably. Adam is going through it with DW Flame. But Adam's and DW Flame conflict or beef, if we may, started long before Adam announced the cancellation of all no jumper podcasts. Mm. I'm making some very big changes in terms of No Jumper. As of today, or as of tomorrow, the Shout out to news, David from the USA. So <laughs> Gangy Toes. The Monday toes. show, the Wednesday show, and the Thursday show also are over. You mm. see, Adam and DW Slane's beef or hostility actually started months ago at this particular moment on the Tuesday show when DW Slane walked out. Right. Well, okay. This is the thing about DW is that no disrespect. Oh, don't do that. You kind of have bad bitch energy. That's like, crazy. You want us to be on top of making sh You can tell, bro. Bro, bro don't yeah. like all that. He wants us to like, really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party. That might took off. Said, bro, no. who the fuck you calling a bitch? He ain't trying to even say nothing. He just walked it away. It was funny watching that back because at first people thought DW Flame was just playing, but he was dead serious. Oh, so right. DW Flame, he a street nigga, bro. But him and Adam didn't have the rapport to where they could joke with each other in that manner. DW Flame will crash the news the following morning to make it very clear that the comfy leather seats, the crisp air, the fresh aroma would not be enough to get him to engage in any type of flexible jokes or activities on No Jumper. Right when we talk about it. This guy to be scripted. Up, this guy got go scripted. What's up, Kev? Yo, hey, the no, universe is universal. See, that's a street nigga. What, what, hey, where this nigga? Bring, get that nigga here. That's the niggas. But the way he talking, you would think he owes, the, you know what I'm saying? He calls me. That's the boss though he's talking about, which I, I ain't knocking it. I'm just, he's like, that's a screen nigga for you, bro. He's like, hey man, what, hey, where that boss at? Get the boss over here, nigga. I gotta I gotta handle some shit. Fuck this nigga. That's your boss though. <laughs> it's funny, bro, how I fucks with it though. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this shit straight right here, cuz all that weird shit, all that gay bitch shit that niggas be playing, I don't play that, cuz if you gotta do that type of shit to be at no jumper, nigga, fuck no jumper. 20 Damn. Years, DW Flame will storm the news looking for Adam, but Adam wasn't present. And he will say, if you have to tolerate any type of gay or weird joke to be on No Jumper, then it's F No Jumper. Now, I don't think that tolerating the weird or gay jokes is like the criteria to be on No Jumper. I just feel like most hosts on No Jumper have a great rapport with Adam, so they don't really mind joking back and forth. I mean, wouldn't you have a great rapport with 
a boss who allows you to come to work with a blunt in hand, some cigars in hand, some Casa Migos, and a four for four from Wendy's? I mean, and you get paid for it? Like, what I, you? Adam really wasn't too destroyed with the PW Flame. But if he's outburst, taking advantage of me for that, I don't think so, though. I'm cool. I need my. I need my. Like I need my. was too strained to no. try to fix it live on the podcast and do a show each and every week. So he decided. I don't know. I don't know, Pascal. PW Flame from off the No Jumper show. I don't know, Pascal. He be, be, be playing too much. He be playing too much. Shouts to Flame. This is not an end. Of the relationship. Yes, it is, my guy. I do believe that he's coming out to New York. I spoke to him earlier today when I called him and told him, like, hey, bro, I think we're going to go a little bit different direction on Tuesday. I, I, I'm pretty good at judging people's reaction, their emotional state, whatever. This is a man who was not tripping. He was yeah, good, Jimmy. DW Flake did feel like he was being kicked off because he wasn't okay with certain jokes being made around him, and that sort of changes the dynamic of the show. If Adam can be himself, particularly, right? So Flame wasn't really tripping because he had his show with his brother on No Jumper, and it was like, yeah, you can't be on the Tuesday show, but you still had your own stuff that you could curate and run and be the boss of, right? Mm -hmm. Damn, I've been saying that. Uh, I got kicked off No Jumper and all types of shit. Yeah, cool. Damn. 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 I'm like, this is crazy. They just, well, because I ain't doing Tuesday no more, because I don't want to do, uh, I don't want to do little weird little jokes and comments. Uh, this this oh, before yeah, that, huh? See your dog shit. What's up with you and Adam, dog? Where y'all at now with it? Man, me yeah, Adam is straight. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Adam is Adam. Just ain't no. You know he get to he get to playing so much with these other niggas. Yeah. That you know he 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 sometimes got to get brought back to real life. Right, right, right. You right, feel right. me? Because that shit ain't real life. What niggas is doing. I ain't never played that, but I also pulled Adam to the side off camera, like real business. So, what you do? I don't think he yeah, liked that. Off Pulling camera. him off camera. camera. I don't think he liked that, Slime. Off camera, everything was. I don't great. think he liked that, bro. That's until a couple of days ago. That's probably why, you know what I mean? That's probably why. See, he pulled him to the side, like, you know what I'm saying, like a street nigga do, you know what I'm saying, handle business, you know what I'm saying, respectfully. Hey, woo -woo, I don't like that, you know what I mean? Woo -woo. But of course, clearly Adam didn't like that because this is a big ass nigga. I'm not, I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about DW Flame. A big ass nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Got the reputation out here on these streets, you know what I'm saying? And you telling me, you know what I mean? I don't like that. That's why Adam probably ain't called him to tell him because he feel like if he tell him, hey, you taking off, he's gonna probably talk back to him type shit. You know, that's a psychology of, you know, he ain't probably using one conflict. Not saying it's right, definitely not right, but that's why he probably did, he did that. All the no jumper shows that he wasn't in. Uh, I'm making some very big changes in terms of no jumper. As of today, or as of tomorrow, the shit. news, no jumper news. So, oh shit, the Monday show, the Wednesday show, and the Thursday show also are over. Damn, a lot of us it's got just, a phone call from Adam, and cutting. that's how I heard about the news of the shows being canceled. UW Flame, on the other hand, will go on No Jumper and said he had a major issue with how Adam handled the cancellation of the shows, specifically him having to find out on the internet and him not receiving a call from Adam. Oh, God. So when Adam first made the announcement, he said that all the No Jumper shows are going to be canceled. Um, how we feel? Yeah, not not really. Bro, these niggas came in here and 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 were, were, were you know what I'm saying these niggas, these niggas, they came in and like yeah, you know I mean they pray sharp on some shit and some more shit and some more shit. But yeah, they, they came in with some shit. Though. How do y'all feel? But do y'all do y'all think it was a good decision? Both of us. I didn't hear the reason. His reason was pretty much a numbers thing. So business was the exactly. main reason. reason though? That's what, that's is what that the real about. reason yeah, though? Yeah, is that about. the real yeah, reason yeah, though? That's what we're talking about. Respectful thing to you know hit niggas or group us up by and then how yeah. we turn about to the internet because it's like yeah, it's it's that, that, that yeah, ain't, that's yeah. what I, that's what I'm saying. So. Oh, that my assessment. I found out like how the audience found. Yeah, 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 but I'm not tripping because like if this is true, that's Adam was wrong. For of the course, movie. he wrong. Adam period. Will actually, dispute this, and we will talk about that a little later in this video. But DW Flame will go on to say that he believes that ever since him and Adam had that little rift 
with the bad beat energy comments that Adam has been kind of acting a little different around him. But yeah, I just. Uh, I, I he kind of just transitioned to that. He didn't call everybody. I was under the assumption that everybody got called. I, I, everybody got a call before the post. Like, like, no, yeah. Ever since that one situation, we kind of like. I'm know, there. I'm trying to tell you, cause like I'm mad at you, fool. Yeah, he's scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, it it just got he got, got him uncomfortable, and bro, don't know how to deal with conflict, bro. Who we not gonna see no more? And then I was thinking, I was thinking when we come up here. If this don't be the last show, we should probably go through some of the best moments yeah. that y'all have had during this during this news era almost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that'll be good. Because uh, I, I, I feel like this because I feel like I, when you're not going to Just answer that question, bro. Ask it him again, nigga. No, you got bad bitch energy. Now, I don't know if it was just a oh, maybe he wasn't in the room when that happened. telling the truth or who's lying. Because Adam and DW Flame both have drastic different retelling of what took place. Flame is saying he never got a call from Adam. Adam is saying he actually gave DW Flame a call and he never picked up. So I just like, did he call him? Because I did call him. Did you send him a text at least? He's been around here like the shortest period of time. I understand that he's kind of like acting as if I didn't call him. Yeah, he should have beat Adam on screen. It's crazy. Either way, yeah, that's kind we of small violence. We don't small violence. This decision now, I understand it's going to be kind of controversial for people, but like that—that's another thing that I want to acknowledge is that like no jumper has like a, a certain percentage of people who are just paying attention to it. For this is the point in the story where things get really bad. Your health is your biggest asset. My it gets really bad. Plan starting at zero. What he mean? Shortly really after bad. Adam responded back to DW Slaying claims that he never gave him a call. He never flame took to his IG story to issue a warning to no jump. HT was take to his H tag. To say, Welcome to the stream, bro. Hey. What's going on at no jumper? Stay tuned. I've been three steps ahead. The when truth. When I first seen this, I thought, oh, the truth. But I have to wait a week for this drama. And tea. Oh, shit. Nah. Flame delivered. Within 12 hours, Flame came back and he started spicing it up a little bit. You see, Flame would say, that the real reason why no jumpers go in another direction is something a tad bit more scandalous. He would also say that no jumper hosts are broke, they don't know how to give money on the platform, and they'll get in paid, bro, in Zaza and Amiris. Y'all make sure y'all tune in for my live stream, right? I'm going to, I'm going to do my live stream today. They got paid in Zaza and it's funny. Getting, getting shot. Shit is unprofessional. Oh shit! This lawsuit's going on. Damn. I got some. I got some good shit for y'all. So y'all pay attention. That's why. That's why no jumper is going the way it's going now because of the shit that niggas is saying. Let me tell y'all. Y'all gotta pray for a couple people. Okay? Let me tell y'all. I'm gonna pray for a couple. Okay? Pray for them just in case. Damn. Right then, them niggas. Them niggas is not getting no chili over there. No chili. So. Me being smart enough, they get no bread. I was like, okay, that's a good really platform. Know. I don't believe really that. I can use. Boom. Talk to Adam. He like, I really don't pay niggas here. I give niggas like a couple hundred dollars or so, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. I know what I'm gonna do. Being, I, you know, being me, I three steps ahead. I'm like, I'm gonna get my own show, which I did, and then I'm bringing up bands with my show. You feel me? <laughs> I charge at least nigga twenty five hundred to five. To five thousand or so for my the guests who come on and shit like that. Yeah, bro, that might make it rap for a show. Sure. Doing that, not saying niggas is broke. I don't know what uh, per guest is crazy. Yeah, five racks, twenty five thousand. I was like, hey, you know me, I'm from the east side. I see opportunity, like, hey, it's real quick. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it was a good platform to keep. One more thing, them niggas. You know, Blue Flame is referencing Dijon claiming that he was shot at No Jumper. Now, Dijon took to his Instagram to say that he'll be speaking about a shooting incident that took place at No Jumper fairly shortly, okay. and he will leak messages between him and Adam. Now, it looks like this was DW Flame's ace card because DW Flame actually threatened to speak on this in the past when him and Adam was going through it. When Dijon first came out, like, nigga, you don't know the pressure his parents have to find out on the TV show. That's, I mean, on the on the YouTube show, what's going on? Yeah, I just find out why the John not here. No, don't, don't, don't do it. 
Yeah, yeah, was he trying to yeah, spill yeah, right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or did he just forget? Yeah. Oh, she did it on purpose. Listen, He's like, oh, I'm about to tell her. Oh, he was about to tell her. Oh, shit. shit. Nor do I know what took place because I wasn't there if it did take place. But right now, like, that incident is well documented on the internet and everybody is already speaking about it. So I don't know if DW Flame has more information he's about to divulge or any type of receipts or paperwork or proof. But if he does, it could be bad. But if he doesn't, then I don't think, like, if he comes and say, yo, the John was shot, well, that really won't do nothing, right? New because Hampshire or some shit like that. Out there. Adam takes nothing you know from New, New Hampshire. And Adam isn't really moving like he's too worried about what, you know, like what Flame is going to say on his um, live stream. Adam don't be worried about Adam nothing. Adam will take to his Instagram to troll DW Flame. Has been charged five thousand dollars to appear on DW Flames podcast, then you may be eligible for financial compensation. Please contact me, Adam Graham Mason, lawyer at large, this and I will assist you in getting that money back. Uh, Adam is fighting back like a white man. man. Adam is saying, "All right, bro, listen, that was y'all, wild, y'all, bro. y'all trying to sue me, bro? Right, I'm gonna get y'all sued too, bro." If DW Flame ever took money from you, to shout out to Old Town, shout out to that DW man DJ man. Shout out to, man. To, for DW Flame. Shout out to Kim. Back like, like a white man, right? And, and you gotta respect it. Say it ain't true, bro. Oh God, you asked me for ten k and told me I have to get put on Long Beach, and there's a possibility they'll sacrifice me. I was like, I'm good, bro. I was just wait for having this. Maybe make, make you back. funny, bro. And Long Beach niggas so ain't playing with that. Happens, and not only are you charging people five thousand dollars to promote their hair extension services, but you're also trying to find shooters. DW. I expected more of you. What's uh, going on? Is this what GBN has come to? I don't want to get dance on. What's happening, o- Otis? GBN. Oh, I'll have to do for now. Hit that yeah. subscribe yeah. button, Sly. This is this is some messy stuff. This is messy. I don't know, bro. Like, this is where I get to thinking, is this all like an orchestration? Is this all a play? Is this Everything is always a play. It's your boy Almighty. It's your boy JL. Look, man. Bro Talk is back, man. Back in full of Bro Talk, bro. It's, it's Bro Talk. Bro? Bro Talk. Bro Talk? Like Bro Talk, bro. Bro Talk? Bro, say it with me. Bro. Bro. Talk. Talk. Bro talk. Bro, the fuck is- bro talk, bro. Bro, 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 come on. Anyway, bro talk, bro talk is back, man. You know what I'm saying? When the homies kick back, you know what I'm saying? We chill, we talk about, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Vibes, smoke a bleasy, you know what I'm saying? Drink something, you know what I mean? What are we like? You said bro talk? Bro talk, bro. Bro talk. Bro talk, bro. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, man. So, you know what I mean? Enjoy the buzz, you know what I'm saying? Kick back, you know what I'm saying?